Oh my god, she's gorgeous as all get out, but the woman's all teeth. Half the time, kissing an alligator is like. I see what you mean. Get over here with that bottle, we man. We found the shine who killed Remy. He's gonna wish he was dead. Reginald, please oh, keep your I'm voice so down. What? Oh, oh he's God. probably he's one of the good one. ones. She hands me these brochures in Mexico, Brazil, Honduras. I put them right in the trash. I said, honey, if I'm going to spend my hard-earned money on a vacation, I want to go somewhere with a civilized language. So, we're going to visit her folks in Hartford. Mm. Right. Thank you. Yes, he was a good man. I guess. I mean, every last goddamn oh. dime is gone. Yeah, you, with the bottle. Jesus. What am I gonna tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. Because right now, it was just it's a little blip in the market, market. that's all. Oh, is that a new outfit? Oh, it looks grand Let's on you. Civilized anyway, about I told this. you, your that's money's right. safe. That's just wrong. give me until the end of the quarter, and then, then you well, as being a flag waving banner year, supporter. Yep. And I just don't want to see you get your heart broke. Right. Whatever you say. It's all right. He's resting with Jesus now. Hey, I've never actually seen bring the that nephew bottle over here. here. I hear there's some money. Maybe. My condolences. What do you know? Well, let's just say there was a lot more to the Duval fortune when his daddy died. Yeah, well, she's my wife, and I shouldn't have to beg for it is all. Gotcha. Do I look worried to you? I'll buy her flowers, maybe something shiny, and it'll all blow over. And if it doesn't tighten her around, well, well, I guess there are always more fish in the sea. Mm -hmm. It's now seeing you. Big old man, dingo nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks. Don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. that will be the damn day. into those folks something bad i don't care what clarence says i'm staying in here those people have gone crazy finna cut that crap what was i saying now i just <laughs> i wish i could show you <laughs> it's all connected you see we <laughs> you <laughs> hmm? me him coming for us we're all connected. coming for you barbara oh good <laughs> See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. Yeah. These people are out of their minds. I see Remy. So oh, wait. Get me out of here uh, now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. No one 
allowed in or out without my say-so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them, they've all come down with some kind of... <laughs> For Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think I'd. <laughs> Switching out ammo! Taking cover! I've... I never thought... You get shot. Precisely. The first time I saw Lucio, he looked so handsome. Dash, even. Mm. He wore the finest suits, drove the best cars. There was always something terribly romantic about all of this. <gasps> there ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Or maybe not. But it certainly was exciting. Where's the Garmo? Garmo. They have me out in a building. Down by the water. Thought you were gonna kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. asking you a second time, boy. You the sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing! Okay, that didn't sound right.
Huh? I think we got trouble. Son bitch. out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Oh, okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Christ! My hand is ruined! I barely even knew Remy! Before they do, we're gonna die right here on this road.
all units. Negative visual on suspect. Begin search in immediate vicinity. Did you hire something? All units be advised. Suspect located. On scene units engaging. <laughs> All units, negative visual on suspect. Repeat, visual contact lost. Did you hire something? How long? What happened to Steven DeGarmo? Lincoln left him with me and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in, skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them, keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Lincoln once told me he couldn't tell any other cheek that the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness, but greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano, another Sammy Robinson, another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Fucking king! Nice work out there. The entire goddamn city's buzzing about what we've done to Makano. There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. Took care of securing this part of the city for you. The boys are looking forward to making their sales at home as soon as possible. We're on a good run here, Lincoln. I see no reason anything should change. Now, not using my guys to lock down a district makes it real fucking messy if you want us to run shit, but hell, you pay me to clean up the mess. Don't second-guess this, Lincoln. Gotta say, this action's perfect for Cassandra. We got a lot to work with here, brother. This is real good. I know how hard it was losing Burke, but sometimes people do everything they can to destroy any chance they have for happiness. You did everything you could. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised, and I'm lucky to be a part of it. Indulge me for a second here. I got something to say. You and me, we knew it wouldn't be easy. And that, more than likely, we'd suffer some losses along the way. But we made it. Now all we gotta do is figure out how the fuck to keep a hold of it. Fuck. Fuck! 
You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. I'm gonna need you two to work out your shit. This ain't the Cassandra and Vito show. We need to be on the same page, because it won't be long before someone else comes up and tries to take us out. wasting any time, are you? Your little rampage is going to attract attention. Attention from people I don't care to associate with. Yeah, imagine not. Thankfully, closing off your loose ends is as simple as tossing around some super grade. <laughs> with any luck, this will keep them off my ass. For a little while, anyway. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. There's still the matter of killing Georgie and Sal. You should get a kick out of hearing this. Who'd you send? I did it myself. Ear to ear, just like you want. Any sign of DeGamo? No. He's gone. I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. I am leveraged out the ass. Called in every favor, and none of it made a goddamn difference. We're fucked. I am fucked. Oh, now that's bullshit. We still got some men. I say we hit the streets. We're gonna find that cock. Every low-life ball of piss in this city smells blood in the water. My blood. You understand? And they step over their own mother if it meant being the one to clip me. I wouldn't last 10 minutes out there. You gonna let them come in here and fuck us? There's got to be something we can do. You call up whatever men we still have left. You tell them to meet us up there at the casino. And when Lincoln Clay shows up, we'll do everything we can to plant that goddamn nigga in the ground right next to us. That's what we can do. Go on, get the fuck out of here. Go! God damn it! Should have known that Marcano would go to ground at the casino. You can take the bridge up there, so it's a straight shot. You know, none of this would have happened without you.
ain't this fun. What? I know I heard so. This you hey, asshole, go check that shit out. Do your fucking job and find it. Think I'll be that easy to take down, boy? Give it a shot. down another man. He couldn't have gotten far. Spread out. Keep looking. They say Lincoln Clay's got some kind of voodoo protecting him. There. Go. Drop him. Hit for cover. This is your day to die. Downstairs handle this. It's what they're getting paid for. I ain't come here to watch someone else do all the work. I came here to bury that cocksucker. Just like we said.
Motherfucker. I always thought you were my friend. That you had me and Ellis' backs. But it was just an act. You didn't kill me because I said no. You killed me because you thought you owned me. Owned all of us. It was never about us. It was about my old man. My father. I did anything for him. Same as you and Sammy. And you understand why I have to do this. world, Lincoln, but you're not, and you never will be.
Hell of a sight, ain't it? You know, when I first come to this town, it was nothing more than a backwater shithole. Now look at it. Let me see your hands. Whatever was between us is over, you understand? It ended the second it was you coming up them stairs instead of my son. You want a drink? All right. Had this imported from Scotland. <laughs> Single malt. Now, usually I'm a bourbon man, but I figured I'd order something with a little more class for when the casino opened. Not much of a chance of that happening now, is it? Don't look that way. Take a seat. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, not bad. I think I still prefer shine. You know, a month or so after my brother Lucho died, I started having nightmares. I had this one where I was on a boat. A giant wave come, knock my ass overboard. I hit that water and sink like a goddamn rock. There was another one where cotton mouths biting me all to hell. But the one that really got to me was Georgie's funeral. He's laid out in that shitty little casket. Neck cut, same as Lucho's. Yeah, that one really got to me. It'll come around again every three or four days. I have one where I'm back in Nam, sleeping in a foxhole. All of a sudden, these dark figures come out of the shadows. I try to fight them off, but they hold me down, tie my hands together, stuff a muddy rag in my mouth so I can't scream, can't warn the men sleeping next to me. And then I got to listen as all those men die. I imagine that's not gonna go away anytime soon. No. I imagine it won't. And then this. <laughs> this was all to try to keep mine from coming true. Look how that turned out. I buried a lot of people. More than I can count. The one I never wanted to see go down in that cold ground was my son. And yet here we are. Yes, sir. Here we are. My son is dead. And I'm having a drink with his killer. I'm not gonna apologize for what I did, you understand? If I did, I'd just be lying. I don't have it in me to feel shame for the things I've done to others. Never have. Didn't come here for an apology. Nah. I know you did. Goddamn, I was right about you, wasn't I? <laughs> I knew it the second I fucking saw you at the country club. Men like us, we're just wired up wrong. There's only one thing we know. One thing we're good at. I'm gonna be waiting for you, Lincoln Clay. This won't be the last time we see each other. I know. Thank you. 
take it, you're Lincoln Clay. So they tell me. I told Sal this fucking casino would be the end of him. I meant it figuratively. This shit has a way of turning on you, doesn't it? Especially if you piss off the wrong person. <laughs> you know who I am, son? Guessing you're Leo Galanti. Take a little walk, you and me. Probably no surprise, but the rest of the commission wants you dead. You and anybody else that had anything to do with this. What happened here was between me and Marcano. Well, I understand that, son. We all do. But this business makes you paranoid, irrational. They see Sally a pile of shit. They start wondering if someone's gonna serve them a plate of their own. So you're here to decide if you're coming after me? No. I'm here to deliver a message. You made your point, son. This all ends right here. Right now. I got no quarrel with y'all. Once a month, Sal kicked up 20% of his net cash only. Same man's been delivering it for, oh, I don't know, 40 years or so. I see no need in deviating from that, do you? No, sir. Well, in exchange, you run things as you see fit. You want to sell heroin, you want a whorehouse on every other corner? Makes no fucking difference to me. The only thing that matters is the 20%. And what if I decide to walk away? Leave all this behind? Then this will be the last time we see each other. Best of luck to you, son. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Him and Georgie both. <laughs> it's the best news I've heard in ages. 
We get an amen, Padre. So what happens now? What do you mean, what happens now? It's over, done, finished. I ain't talking to you. Just cause Sal Marcano's dead, Lincoln, doesn't mean it's over. Now, what you did and the size of it all, you created a storm in this here city, and it's gonna take a long time for it to dissipate, if it ever does. With Marcano dead, New Bordeaux belongs to me. Ain't nobody left to stand in my way. <laughs> you, you can't be serious. The, the point of this wasn't to replace Marcano, it was to remove him. This city's done gone through enough. It doesn't need another you, Sal Marcano. This city? You've got to be fucking kidding me. This city is a cesspool. It's where people come to fuck and drink and get high. You watch your filthy mouth. It's what the city is, Padre. If it's not giving another Sal Marcano, it's going to shit one out. He's right. If it ain't going to be me, it's going to be somebody else. Probably somebody worse. Amen. Thank you. You remember what you told me when you came back from the war? How, how, how you wanted to, 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 to go to California, leave all this behind, and just start all over? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it ain't too late, Lincoln. You can still go. Go. And don't look back. Listen, I'd love to stay here and debate the merits of one crime boss over another, but I've got a schedule to keep. Bit of advice, though. The scumbags you've been working with, kill them. All of them. Bury them before they bury you, buddy. Oh. I'll be seeing you, Padre. God forgive me for standing by you through all this, Lincoln. But if you do anything except leave, we're finished. You hear? Bob. A man's soul can only carry so much. And mine is on the verge of breaking. After Lincoln vanished, Vito Scaletta took over the city. Now he spit on Sal Marcano's grape one last time by actually doing what Marcano couldn't, finishing the casino. Now two years later, Scaletta opened another casino and then it was just an avalanche of development. Hotels, um, arenas, the new convention center, 
I mean, today, everyone knows this place as the Las Vegas of the South, but the whole damn thing was built on bodies Lincoln Clay left behind with blood money he and his lieutenants stole from the mob. And Vito? He still lives in that penthouse at the top of Marcano's casino, looking out over the city he owns. After Sal Marcano's death, Lincoln Clay disappeared. <laughs> the Bureau deprioritized the investigation after a few months, but uh, I keep an active file. In 1971, I tracked him to a California shipyard where he was working under an assumed name. By the time we got there, though, he was gone. Uh, the trail went cold, and by 77, 78, I figured he was dead. But then I got a report of someone matching his description working with the Colombians. Since then, uh, there's a new sighting of him every couple of years. Lincoln made it out to California, worked at the shipyards for a few years. Met him a woman. Seemed like he was going to get married, but then it, it all came apart. Don't know why. And he started moving around. He went to Alaska, New York, South America. He even went back to Vietnam. Hmm. I, I still get postcards from time to time. You know, I think Lincoln wasn't able to, uh, Accept the world for what it is, or his place in it. Someday, he's going to get tired of running, or make a mistake, and I'll be waiting. I promise you that.